Ba da ba 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 ba. Now we like. Ba 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 ba. Now we like. Seems good. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein we've been expanding our outposts, grabbing more Argospheres, making things faster, and pushing towards the end. Uh, why is Bombato not flowing? I think. I think we got more than 165 core frags per second coming from Bombato, but it comes in train loads, and we upgraded it to that speed not that long ago. So we probably haven't reached the point of saturation where the individual train stops are reliably full enough to summon the trains. Yeah, here... I was going to say here comes one. There it goes. Um, but yeah, how many drills have we got? Let's see. 21 on Bombato. Times 11.423 uh, is 239 core frags per second. That's a lot more than this little block can process. Uh, so we should see it get to the point of being constantly saturated in the not-too-distant future. Um, and I think we already did the same for Picard. Let's see. Not as many drills, I think. Only 16. But that adds up to 193 per second, which is also, again, more than 165. Might take a little longer, but that should saturate indefinitely. Uh, as long as we're still on the tier 6 modules here. Um, we've got a lot of catching up to do with our Vitamelange. Let's say that this runs continuously. We've got 413 Vita per second. Uh, not all of these blocks have been upgraded, but if all of that were to go through Prod 9s... What was it? 400 and... 13 Turtle O Jackets. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. 413 per second would turn into about 1.5k nuggets per second. Damn. Uh, 1.5k nuggets per second turns into approximately 1.34k bloom per second. turns into about 544 spice per second and a trivial amount of extract. 544 spice per second if we're turning it all into extract. Uh, would be about... Wow. Almost as much extract. Prod 9s are crazy. So 557.3 spice turns into 501 extract per second. And the recipe calls for 30 spice. But it's basically 10 spice becomes 1 to 7 extract. Cool. Uh, anyway, um... So we're looking at what, like 500 spice per second, if we had more prods already. Um, and this monstrosity, which is probably over-engineered, is looking for f 554. Hmm. Should we go get one more Vitamelange outpost? I think the answer is probably yes. Uh, I think there was one more planet with the Vitamelange core frags that was really big that we haven't tapped yet. Well, there's like four of them, and we've tapped two of the top four, right? There it is, Bellerophon. We haven't actually tapped the biggest one. Uh, it does have biters. All Vita planets do. We have cleared out Picard and Bombato. Um... Yeah, why not? Let's go to Bellerophon. But first, we're going to need to clear the biters. 
from this very, very large planet. Uh, and we can't use a plague rocket. But we do have a tool for the job. Oh, forgot to send out the notif. There we go. Uh, Alright, so we should probably start scanning. I forget where we were scanning. First drill would give us... 19.5 per second, damn. Uh, is that with prod bonuses, or... I think it wasn't. Whatever. In any case, that's where we're going to go. Um, I don't know if we actually have to explore the entire planet for this to work or not. But just in case, we should probably get started. Uh, we have this slapped together build for anti biter virus capsules. Which we used to clear out some of the other... Some of the other planets. Oh, <laughs> all of the ones on this surface are on my person, and I completely forgot. Do we have any more? All surfaces, please. Nope, just just what I've got right here. Antibiter virus capsule. We've got 96. That might be enough already. It probably is. I was going to say I don't want to risk flying all the way out there uh, and then finding that it's not enough. But... Yeah, we had this like semi-automatic process where we drop uh, biomass into this build so that we can get unit capsule big biter and unit capsule big spitter. Which then gets thrown into here. Because we don't need that many of them, and they're kind of expensive. But I'm pretty sure 96 is going to be more than enough. Alright, let's go to... where the heck is it? Bellerophon is in the Terabellus system. Don't actually need to know where that is, but I'm a little bit curious. Way, 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 way up here, where there are no other stars. It would be a long trip if we weren't going via Foenestra. Um, but yeah, Bellerophon orbit is planet orbit 405. Um, do we have the laser artillery? We do. Yeah, ten of those and a bunch of shield projectors and some laser turrets should be more than enough. So we're just going to set up our space elevator at zero, zero. All right. What was it? 405? Bellerophon orbit. Must have been 405 if this is 404. Yeah. Planet orbit 405. And we're going to go there via Phonestra. So the whole trip is going to take like seven minutes or so in game. Which will translate to about double that in real time. Alright, so we have a little bit of time to kill with whatever improvements we can make remotely. Oh yeah, I wanted to fix... I should have done this in person. I don't know why, but the column on the left only, actually this one has as well. Wait, what? Uh, I'm confused. No. That part of the belt is supposed to be saturated, but these parts of the belt on the other side, which are supposed to be empty, because we priority consume from this side. Uh, is actually full over here. 
and these machines have clogged up as a result. I'm not sure how this happened. Uh, and I kind of want to fix it. It's going to be tricky to do remotely, though. Hmm. Oh, good. More... More crushed vulcanite. I guess the easiest way to do it... No, that might actually not be enough. If I were to set these to no recipe, so they spit all their input and outputs out onto the ground, and then we just set them back and have a have a spider or something pick all this up, which would be a pain to sort out later, but it might just get jammed again. Okay, I'm just going to leave it for now, but I don't want to forget it's there. Uh, crushed... Jammed. Pretty sure it's jammed. And it's only that column, which is identical to all the other columns. I think it was probably because the sand output was clogged earlier and we fixed that. And none of the other ones had a clogged output. Maholic, thank you for the raid. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? Welcome in Veldak. Hope you're doing well today. How are our cables? Cables are fine. Fantastic. Let's get rid of this mess. Oh. Uh, that's okay. I think. That'll end up back in the mall. Sounds like you are singing. Love it. Thank you. Welcome in Maholic. Um, are these running? Yeah, they are. It's just that this is consuming as well. Cool, cool, cool. Holmium cables have looked pretty saturated. Uh, what about upstairs? I remember we needed, uh, what? Oh, I see. I remember we needed more trains to move the Holmium cable, and it looks like it's not enough still. It's definitely not enough still. But I thought we got like three more trains to move Holmium Cable upstairs. There's actually two places that we take it up. Uh, where's the coal? What? It was coal, right? That it was grouped in with. Uranium fuel cell, stone, coal, and holmium cable. Did we never actually set this up? No, there's a train with that schedule. It's coming to pick it up right now. Hmm. Wherefore... Here it is. Okay, so all of these take Holmium Cable, and we're apparently still not moving Holmium Cable upstairs fast enough. That's kind of wild. I think we've only got one train running all of this and all of this, though. It was... I think this schedule that we added a few trains? Because plastic is in demand as well. Oh, you're picking it up. Okay, I was confused for a second there. Um... Yeah, if the storage is this full... I don't know. We're not, like, train limiting here. That's kind of weird. Do we need more trains downstairs? Doesn't seem like it. Maybe?
maybe? We did add a bunch of trains recently, but I'm not seeing any uh, cargo wagon trains sitting in the depots. Yeah, they're not reaching five seconds before they get a job. We just don't have LTN yelling at us about it yet. Hmm. So should we just add some more trains? I think I added a new depot over here, yeah. Yeah, alright, that's something easy we can do that helps. More trains. I fear our UPS isn't going to go up that much by getting rid of spaceships. Because the more stuff we bring back to the base, the more trains we need to move things around. Because we're producing way faster. Off you go to the nearest depot. Let's, let's add five. If we're seeing no rest for our cargo trains, then I think we should at least add five. Wait, I already did that. Yeah. Go. Actually, I'm curious. If I do this... If, if I leave this switched on and we place our locomotives, will those get inserted in the correct order? They actually do. Interesting. Okay. But we have to make sure that sufficient... Uh, Sufficient input is available to insert it all at once before we do that. So what, two more trains? Still struggling with all of these battery packs to make enough power packs to make a bunch of trains all at once, apparently. Let's get to the depot. And one more. I also want to check on uh, the update to... Where is it? Oh, it's full. Space train power packs discharged. So we've got almost two train loads, almost two cargo wagons in the containers. We've definitely got that many on the belts as well. Uh, batteries? Did they ever stop spamming? They did not. We might actually have to build bigger than this for batteries. I guess I could just double the build. Hmm... Something kind of like this. Uh, is it placed here for a reason? We do need a lot of sulfuric acid. 660 per second. So I do want it to be close to where we, where we make the sulfuric acid. Uh, the copper and... The iron and copper and lithium is not that fast stack-wise. But, yeah, it seems like these have been running continuously for a long time, I think. Uh, it seems like we're never catching up with batteries. 